Hello, this is Megan from down the road. You know me, right? So, I called the local newspaper that you work at to ask you a question and maybe get myself in the next paper. And all I got back on the telephone line was my favorite song, Blink and You'll Kiss Me Goodbye, played on a boat dasher voice synthesizer. It was a terrible experience. It ruined my day and maybe my year. Did you set this up on the phone to spite me because of the things I've said about your lawn? I didn't mean those comments in a bad way. It's just not very healthy for the neighborhood to have giant holes and stuff in the dirt. Listen, I would have loved to see what you're trying to do with those, but they're becoming a problem and I just want to see them burn, okay? You should take all that rusty tubing out of the earth and take it up to the scrapyard. Anyways, call me back when you can, uh, as, preferably as soon as possible. I would love to get myself on the newspaper before I die because I think I'm going to die this winter. I'm allergic to winter frost. I fear for my life. See you later. I hope that we can be friends again. Yesterday I got a call from my neighbor. They were asking about the thousands of smoke exuding holes on my property. My property. I am doing something that someone as stupid as them could never hope to understand. Too simple in your pursuits. Far too often when I won, the dirt gave me no quarrel when I stuck my hands in sweet. Hi, it's your neighbor. I was calling to complain for once about your pet. So, you know how they sometimes leave paths of dead crickets back to your screen door? That part really doesn't bother me. That's cool. But last night, had it out for me. Your animal has eaten every last drop of my lemonade pudding from my fridge. And there was a trail of it back to your house. I wasn't going to intrude on your property, but I'm pretty sure I saw the trail go down the well, so while I fear for their safety, I am still mad at you. I don't know if your pet's poisoned or what, but they cannot eat my own pudding from my fridge. You need to get a hold of your things, at least enough to keep them out of my fridge, okay? If this happens again, I will take you to court. sound very good. Someone told me yesterday that the whole valley has fogged up from this. I mean, it's exciting, but not good news. And get this, the person who's done all this works on the daily paper, so they're trying not to get their name smudged. So, don't trust the local paper on this one. <laughs>